Well, um, good morning, everybody. My name is Dan Gorodnik, and I am a council member for the 4th District, which goes from 14th to 97th Street in Manhattan. I'm joined by Carolyn Coffey of MFY Legal Service, as well as a colleague and a client, and she will introduce them to you in a moment. Uh, what we are talking about today is strengthening the very foundation of our legal system, the right to defend yourself in court. There is a disturbing trend in New York. Tens of thousands of residents are being sued for old debts which they may or may not truly owe. Yet they are only learning that they have been sued after they have lost, and they find that their bank accounts are frozen and that their wages are being garnished. The reason this comes as a surprise to them is that they were never served with a summons. This is no small problem. Every year in New York City alone, debt collectors bring about 320,000 cases, and the judgments total approximately $800 million. Of these cases, 80 to 90% of them are default judgments. In other words, the defendant never showed up in court. Getting a legal notice is a pretty scary thing, not something most people ignore. So MFY Legal Services studied a sample of cases to understand the shocking percentage of defaults, and what they found was even more shocking. The defendants in these cases are almost never served properly. In fact, of more than 350 of MFY's clients who were sued in debt collection cases in 2007, not one, not a single one, was served properly with a summons and a complaint. This is not a fair fight. These folks have already lost before they even knew they were in the game. It doesn't matter what you're looking at when something works zero out of 350 times. You're not talking about accidents or coincidence. You're dealing with a system that is completely broken. In this case, that system is making it extremely difficult for working New Yorkers to gain financial independence. So what should be happening? Well, process servers have a legal obligation to make three attempts to serve a summons. But we are seeing trends of process servers claiming to have served family members who do not exist at addresses where a defendant has not lived for years. And that's if they're even making any attempt at all. This is called sewer service, and it stinks. The effect, as I mentioned previously, is that defendants' bank accounts end up being frozen. This is particularly devastating because most of the defendants in debt collection cases are the working poor in New York City. With no access to their own money, they may fall further into debt, fall behind on their rent payments, or be forced to go without necessities like medication or groceries. So you can see how the economic damage spirals. Now, of course, everyone is responsible for paying their debts. Nothing here changes that. But because we know that so many debt claims are frivolous, either the debts have already been paid off, the statute of limitations has expired, or frequently, the debt collector presents no proof that the defendant ever owed the money. It's all the more critical that New Yorkers be able to answer those claims in court. And it all starts with the service of process. In July, Attorney General Andrew Cuomo sued two debt collection agencies and 35 law firms across the state of New York for abusing the system in debt cases, including the failure to notify consumers that they were being sued and falsifying statements that they had served those New Yorkers. He was absolutely right to identify this as an issue and to use the powers of his office. Now we are taking steps right here in New York City to protect working families and to put fraudulent process servers out of business. My legislation will add a new requirement for all process servers, process servers to meet in order to do business here in New York. They will have to provide a surety bond insurance in order to obtain and maintain their license. If process servers fail to meet their legal obligations and put working New Yorkers in difficult financial straits, those New Yorkers will be able to seek a remedy, and the payment will come from the process server's insurance. 
Likewise, the Department of Consumer Affairs will have a guaranteed source for the payment of fines for any action that they take against process servers. It is a step that will reform this industry. Currently, many process servers operate as independent contractors. They're not paid on an hourly basis, but on a per piece basis, often totaling between three to $10 per summons. You would not want your financial future to rest on whether somebody delivers on the job they were paid $3 to carry out, but that's the reality today. Remember, proper service requires more than one attempt at service, but the pay generally stays exactly the same. So the system encourages process servers to falsify reports about serving defendants. Under this bill, an independent contractor would have to provide a surety bond of $10,000. Otherwise, they would have to work as employees of bonded process serving agencies, which would have to carry insurance of $100,000. These agencies will be liable for violations on the part of their employees. Better yet, under my bill, they will have to provide their employees with training about their legal responsibilities, as well as informing them about their rights and privileges under wage and hour laws. It is already common practice for process serving agencies that are involved in high dollar corporate lawsuits to be bonded. But because of the high frequency of abuse in consumer debt lawsuits, we can benefit by making that a requirement in all process server situations. The results will be increased professionalism and improved accountability and protections for the New Yorkers from sewer service. Ultimately, the bad actors who break the law will themselves be pursued in court. And after a while, their insurance companies will not want to carry them and those process servers will lose their licenses and be out of business. This is a bill that will support the basic rights of New Yorkers who are sued over old debts. It will reform a completely broken sector of the industry, and it will even improve the working lives for the people in that industry. These cases start with a single piece of paper, and if that summons doesn't get into a defendant's hands, there will be financial catastrophe. That has, has to stop, and I believe that this bill will go a long way towards stopping it. And I really want to thank uh, MFY Legal Services for the report that they issued, which highlighted the issue for me uh, and for all New Yorkers. It was called Justice Deserved, uh, and they have been a tremendous advocate on behalf uh, of working New Yorkers. People have been pursued improperly, uh, and Carolyn Coffey is here, and I'm so delighted to be working with her on this.